Good morning friends. Today we are going to learn the implicit human computer interaction that is used in a accompanied smart devices. These are the subtopics to be discussed under this topic. The single versus multimodal in visual interfaces, gesture interface, reflective and active displays, how do we combine input and output user interfaces and what are the limitations, auditory interfaces and the natural language interfaces. We know that the mode of human interaction, it uses the human senses which includes the eyesight, the ears, the taste, smell and touch. Whereas the interactive ICT system devices, they mimic the human senses such as the camera which mimic the eyesight, the scanner which also mimic the eyesight, then microphone which mimics the ear, then we have the input uh, devices such as keyboard, mouse, touch screen and the pointer devices which mimic the touch of the human sense and we can use there are some uh, various uh, chemical sensors and analyzers which actually mimics the smell and test. So uh, we can see at the top of this figure there are some output interfaces that are used in computer such as the projector screen, projector, the TV, the television set and the audio box. These are few example, the typical example of out output interfaces which is used in a computer devices. Well, now we will see the single versus multimodal visual interfaces. The human interaction it, na it naturally uses the multimodal in the sense that the user they have the multimodes of input and output which are used concurrently or simultaneously. For example, listening to a voice and looking at someone, uh, these are some concurrent activities by using some different uh, modes of input and output. So user can tra also transmit the multiple outputs. For example, gesturing and talking at the same time. So many interactive ICT system which uses the single visual mode of output interaction. So that creates the problem. So what is the problem? So this creates the overload on humans. Uh, naturally, the world becomes more digitally interactive. So many objects, they are trying to interact with the user at the same time. And that actually creates or confuses the human in order to interact with this multiple ICT objects. So what is the solution? So the use of multiple sensory channels that can alleviate this bottleneck by increasing the bandwidth available. There are some additional richness that human is gifted with which cannot be mimicked adequately using the current computer input and output interfaces. So this input mode of interaction sometimes it is affected not only by the content but also by the context. For example by the tone of voice, by the perceived stance and by the physical proximity between the sender and receiver. It may be the facial expression, it may be eye contact, body language, by smell, touch, so on and so forth. So James and Sebi in 2005, they have classified the modalities into two types. That is the human senses versus the ICT device modalities such as the mouse and keyboard. So it's time for question now. So just think of can we integrate this multiple modes? Yes, we can integrate the multiple modes together, but it seems very complex. What is the reason? So the reason is that integrating multiple mode requires the different signals which are in different forms and have the different frequency which can be which needs to be combined together. If we combine these different signals with the different frequency and different forms together, that may confuse the user to interpret the different level of data that the signal has, the different feature and different decision requires to with the different signals. So depending on what is being seen and actuated, the user or the human has to take the decision and that creates the complexity in integrating the multiple modes together. Therefore, to accomplish this task, a human-like multimodal analysis of multiple 
input signal acquired by the different sensor are required so it is the question that can we create a human like multimodal analysis model that has the capacity to acquire the multiple input uh, from the different sensor and then perform an analysis on those multiple signal so as to take a single decision the other reason is that the signals cannot be considered mutually independent and they cannot be combined in the context free manner but they need to be processed in a joint venture and the context dependent model there are two main approaches uh, in the multimodal interaction design so this the first approach proposed is the data for each modality can be processed separately and then combine at the end for example the data from the different input interfaces modality they can be processed separately and then at the end they can be combined together so this is the first approach whereas the second approach says that the data for each modality can be processed and combined concurrently so this means that the data generated or the data which is uh, retrieved from the different in input interface modalities they they can be processed simultaneously or they can be processed and combined concurrently so the we'll see the first type of uh, the input interface is the gesture interface so what are the gestures the gestures it may be expression it may be meaningful body motions like moving hands moving fingers moving head moving arms moving leg so it is basically a meaningful body motion human body motion which involves the physical movements now the intent of this physical movement is of conveying the meaningful information about interacting with the environment so there are uh, types of human gestures and the gesture can be seen so the question is what are the main types of human gestures and how the gestures can be seen so there are three main types of human gestures this can be uh, hand and arm gestures head and face gestures and the full body movement and the gestures can be seen using the wearable devices such as gloves or the body suits which which are attached uh, uh, by attaching the sensors uh, like the magnetic field trackers the accelerometers gyroscope to the surface of the bodies and the sensors they can be seen or they, the the data of the sensors they can be seen by using the cameras and the computer vision techniques so gesher is classified into three types two dimensional gesher interfaces versus three dimensional gesher interfaces contactless versus contactful gesher interfaces and the third type is directly sensed versus indirectly sensed gesher interfaces so the first basic contact gesture interface the example is the pain based gesture interfaces which are typically based upon the light pains in the mid of 1960s which allows the pointers to be moved on the screen and synchronized to the movement of the pain whereas the contactless gestures which were introduced in the mid of 2000 they are used in several types of game consoles mobile phones and cameras etc so it's time for question are there any gesture interface applications yes there are huge gesture interface application uh, typically uh, the first gesture interface application is rotating or flipping the hand that results into the action which rotates or flip the image uh, the gesture uh, interfaces they are also used in navigation options like uh, you can see this tilt and this tilts display away which results into action of menu selection which moves up and the tilt display which is down which results into action the menu selection moves down so in navigation the gesture interfaces are used the other application of gesture interfaces is the two two finger stretch gesture which results into stretching the image or resizing the image small or large 
Now, these are some uh, 